Joe here from FLIR, and in my hands I've got our highest resolution EX series camera, the E8. Like the E4, E5, and E6, the E8 is a very easy to use point and shoot thermal imager. It's got a fixed focus lens that gives you a nice wide 45 degree field of view and a bright 3 inch LCD that makes images pop. The simple user interface is only a button push away and gives you quick access to parameters like emissivity so you can measure surfaces accurately, a choice of color palettes, and different viewing modes. You can choose thermal only, visible only, picture in picture, or MSX that enhances thermal images with key visual details so you can instantly recognize the location of the problem you found. But as I mentioned a moment ago, it's resolution that really sets the E8 apart in the EX series line. At 320 by 240 resolution, the E8 gives you 76,800 pixels of thermal imaging power. That not only produces a stunning image, but it puts more spots on the target to help you measure temperatures more accurately especially if they happen to be small ones, or you need to scan components from a safer distance. E8 also gives you some handy diagnostic tools, including an area box with an auto hot or cold spot to track the highest and coolest temperatures within it, an isotherm option, and more. The E8 can store a ton of images you can thumb through, bring up full screen, and download later to your PC or Mac with the supplied FLIR Tools software. FLIR Tools allows you to later analyze images further and build great looking reports to share with your customers or clients. Now if you like the superior image of the E8, you'll also want to consider the E60. It has the same pixel resolution, but with a whole different level of extremely useful communication and productivity features. It includes wireless connectivity to mobile devices and test and measurement meters, for example, interchangeable lenses, an onboard LED lamp, and laser pointer. Definitely worth looking at. Check out professional quality resolution on the FLIR E8, available now.